And now to an exclusive story that's bound to raise eyebrows. CBC has learned that products that are made behind the walls of repressive Chinese prisons are ending up in Canada. Those imports are illegal. But as Chris Brown discovered, there's growing evidence that some of the products are slipping beneath the trade barrier. This video was smuggled out of a Chinese prison camp. Human rights groups say such camps, known as Lao Gai, amount to legalized slavery, where hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of prisoners, work in prison factories for pennies a day. Canada bans the importation of any goods made by prison labor, but a new report from the Lao Gai Research Foundation says they are still getting through, and it's fingered this Alberta company. Inland screw piling imported products from Xinxiang Zhongke, a mining equipment company. The address for the Chinese enterprise is the same address as the Chinese prison camp. The report indicates inland screw piling received at least two shipments of equipment from the Chinese prison worth roughly $300,000. The order was signed by the company's manager. The reason this particular case struck uh, us so, so much is because um, just by digging just a little bit about this company, we were receiving lots of information that it was indeed a prison. An easy search of the company's name on Google clearly shows it's a prison. Another site details that there are 6,000 prison workers, police, and plenty of armed guards. The president of Inland Screw Piling told us he was utterly shocked to learn that his supplier was a Chinese prison and that he would never have bought the equipment had he known. He declined a TV interview. It's also the job of the Canada Border Services Agency to be on the lookout. The department would only say when it becomes aware of items of interest, we will target these goods. Admittedly, this human rights lawyer says it can be very difficult to spot what's made in a prison and what's not. You never know for sure that that's exactly the product that the victim was making. Uh, and so I think there has to be a lot more effort than there has been to pierce through that disguise. This is the first case the Lao Gai Research Foundation has documented of Chinese prison-made goods showing up in Canada, but the report claims there are likely countless others. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.